Welcome, this is the first kind of vlog video I made for this channel. Um, weather outside is not so good, so I figured let's DIY something. And uh, we have some uh, security stuff for CCTV. And we're gonna make some CCTV in this room. And we're gonna make a video of it because I need views. Let's start. So I was thinking where I can put this camera because I'm not going to mount it to the ceiling or anything. And I came up with a place that looks pretty good in my eyes. Which is right here. So I've already run the long SDI cable back there. Which then goes from all the way over there. To here. And then it's right here. We just have to... We just have to put it right here. And then we can connect the camera. So let's do that right now. They have the best food, they're just the best country. Even better than my country, way better. Best country, you should go there, there's really nice food. So I've just connected up the analog to digital converter. It has just started up. Just plug in the SDI cable into the front and the network and power into the back. I've also set it up so if we go to 192.168.0. I think it's 202. And we log in with the digital switch our root and 1959. We will see the feed from the camera. So, if I step into the camera, they can see me. Hello. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this. This is a Raspberry Pi, which is running Motion iOS, which is a free NVR software. So let's connect this up. And I've also already pre-configured this one. If we go to 192.168.0.200. We learned the interface of this NVR. Where there are three cameras and one is not connected. So here we have this camera, which is the main camera. It's still called 3D1 for some reason. So we're just gonna log in and change some details. So we're gonna change some camera settings. We're gonna make it we're gonna name it room. We're gonna name it bedroom. And we're not gonna flip it 180 degrees. And now we have the feed from this camera. So if we just walk into that. Hello, this is uh, me. There's a bit of a delay, but that, that's just that's just what every security camera and you can do all kinds of fun stuff with motion iOS for example you can turn on motion detection 
And with that motion detection, you can get motion notifications to your email address. I'm gonna blur this out because I don't want spam email. This video streaming, if you want to stream it to something else. Text overlay. You can record movies and pictures, still images on motion triggers or continuous. And you can even upload captured files to cloud storage, which is very cool. So it's way too dark to record here, but I've put another camera, which is the Trust Train webcam, which I already revealed. Click up there for it. Uh, which is connected as another camera. Just outside of my room. And we can also watch the feed from that. So this video was pretty random. I don't know why I made it, I need views. If you liked it though, continue liking. If you didn't, guess and button works just as well. But please tell me why in the comments down below so I can improve. Subscribe to my channel for more on a stack content like this video. There's actually already stuff in the mail for the Sony F5100 rig part 2. So if you're hyped for that, join our Discord. Thank you for watching and have a good day.